So I just thought I would talk through my workflow. I am in Keynote, so I'm going to add a slide. And I add a blank slide. And then over, I already used this one. So here's a Creative Commons image that I've already found. And actually, this is out of the capture region. Let me bring this up a little bit. Okay, so what I do is down here in the corner, I tap on the arrow with a line under it, and I pick my size. I really only need like a 1024 is, is really my size for my slide, so I don't need this 3872. So I'll do large. So I'm going to go ahead and download that file. Then I need to go back and choose view all sizes. And so that's going to show me the information page about who uses it and the link. So I go Command L to highlight the URL and Command C to copy it. Then I come back over here to Keynote. And so as I'm on the slide, it's going to say background over here on the right hand side. So I go from color fill to image fill and it defaults to the last image that I had uploaded. So I actually want to go here to choose and I click on choose so I can browse and find, you can't see it in the window here, but I'm finding this one that I just downloaded and I'm selecting it. I just double clicked on it. So that's now the background image on that slide, but I do want to give credit always. So I go up here and I hit the text box and you can't see it, but it's really tiny here in the center and I can actually just start typing Creative Commons image colon and then I look over here to see whose picture it is. So it's Carrie Nicole Photography and then I do uh, Command A select all, Command K insert a link, then I just hit W and I'll switch it to web page and then it's already highlighted the apple.com, so all I actually have to do is Command V paste. And I don't want to click on these buttons. I actually just want to click away. And now this is hyperlinked. So I'm going to put it down here in the corner. Um, I got white and dark in this right hand corner, so I'm actually going to move this over to the left hand corner. And since there's not enough contrast, I'm going to change the font size to white so that it is more obvious. I want it, I want it to be seen. I mean, I don't want it to be so large. It's, I mean, it's, these are presentation slides. I don't want to draw away from my presentation, but I absolutely want to give credit. So I have that there. So then I just go ahead and I add a new slide. So I'm ready to go. I come back here. I use Command W to close the tab. I opened up a whole bunch of tabs, actually. I can pull this down. Um, you can see I have a whole bunch of Flickr tabs because I first just kind of go through and I find a bunch of images that I want to use and I just hold down the command key. So I hold down command and I click on all the ones I think I want to use. So I get a whole bunch of them and then I just get into workflow where I go back, I download, then I go to view all sizes and then I come over here, image fill, choose, and there it is. Oops. Double click, text box, creative, commons, image, command A, select all. Oops, I don't think I did the command L, command C. Okay. Command A, select all, command K, W for web page, command V, paste, click away. Just put it down in the corner. So that is my workflow.